This video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. The following content does not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of the channel's broadcaster. Proprietors of this channel are not liable for reproduction or imitation of the following material. Portions of the materials used are trademarks and or copyrighted works of Take-Two Interactive. All rights reserved by Take-Two Interactive. This material is not official and is not endorsed by Take-Two Interactive. <laughs> Yo, what's up fam? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make modded cars and bring them online with the director mode online glitch. I'm gonna include everything in this video from making the cars with the save editor to doing the director mode online glitch to spawning the cars in to saving the cars. So it's gonna be really in depth, it's gonna be pretty long, but it's gonna include everything you need to know on how to do this. So the requirements for this glitch are gonna be a save wizard, the GTA save editor, you're going to need net cut, which is a lag switch you'll need on your PC, and you're also going to need a modded single player save. All of this stuff will be linked down in the description. All you have to do is go down there and download it. Once you have all that stuff downloaded onto your PC, you're going to want to insert a USB flash drive into your PS4, and then I'm going to show you how to save a GTA single player save onto that USB. So once you have that USB inserted into your PS4, you're going to go over here to settings, you're going to select settings and you're going to scroll down to application saved data management. You're going to select that. Then you're going to scroll over here to save data in system storage. You're going to select that. Then you're going to select copy to USB storage device. And then we're going to select Grand Theft Auto 5. And then once we select this, it's going to bring up a list of our single player saves. Be sure you save the one with the percentage beside it, not the auto saves, not the profile, not the backups. Save this one with the percentage beside it and then just click copy, copy it to a USB and then you can eject your USB from the PlayStation and we'll insert it into our PC. Now, once we're over here on the PC, you see I've inserted my flash drive right here. Okay, it has my PS4 save on it. I've also downloaded the modded save from the description. This is what it looks like right here. So once we have that downloaded, you see I also have Save Editor and Save Wizard downloaded along with Netcut. Now we're going to open up the GTA Save Editor. So just double click it. And we'll give this just a second to load up here. Uh, mine needs an update. I just click no, it's fine. Um, I'll update it later. It wasn't necessary for what we're doing here. Now, as soon as this loads up, select GTA 5. It's going to bring up this window here. Now, at the top left, we're going to select Open File. This is where we're going to select the modded save that we've downloaded. Remember I showed you right here? This is the one we're selecting. This is the one in the description. So you're simply going to select this. We're going to select Open. It's going to ask if you want to create a backup. We're going to select Yes. It's going to create it on your desktop in the top right here. It looks something like this in a little folder. Now, once this opens up, we're going to scroll over here to Garage on the left-hand side, and we're going to select Garage. These are our single-player garages. Now, as soon as this loads up, you're going to see the screen where we'll be making all the cars. We'll be adding the mods here. We'll be selecting what type of car we want and all of that good stuff. So this is the screen right here where we make the cars. Now, the way this works is you have all three of your single player characters here okay now for some reason my preview window has never worked if somebody knows how to get that working please let me know in the comments but other than that the way this is going to work is you have each single player character right here we have franklin michael and trevor for each character they have a garage so you see franklin has a garage here these are all four car garages for each character now in his garage obviously he's got four vehicles here now you'll have this same thing for each character. If you select the next character, Michael, you'll see his garage. You'll also see his four vehicles that he his, he does have inside his garage. Same thing with Trevor. If you select Trevor, he has a garage as well, and he has four vehicles inside his garage. Yours will be the same because you're using the same modded save. Now you may not have those cars yet because I've already played around with this some, but you'll have the same thing. You'll have the three characters with four car garages, and they can hold four cars in each garage. Now. Once we're ready to do this, this is where we're going to select the vehicles. Okay, now we can't just use any vehicle. We have to use storable streetcars for this method. 
Now, the way I do that is I'll leave a link in the description to this page here. This is a list of vehicles that we can use. Now you'll see right here, these top ones are blacklisted vehicles here. We can't use any of these vehicles. None of these will store, so don't even try to use them. They're all blacklisted. If you'll scroll on down here, you'll see right here a list of storable, a storable vehicles. All these vehicles can be stored and insured. Okay, and you'll see it's all these ones with the little three check marks beside it. If you see vehicles with this little circle beside it, this means these vehicles are too hot. They can't be stored in a garage. Only the vehicles here with the three hash marks beside them are storable vehicles. Now, what you're going to do is just find a vehicle that you want here. And then what I'll typically do if I don't know what the vehicle looks like, like say I'm going to use this Felon GT right here. This is the one we're going to be using for example. I'll go up here and I'll just Google um, GTA Felon GT or Felon GT or you know Felon GT GTA just so we can get a picture of the car right here. So you'll see I'll Google this. This is what the car looks like. So now I know if I want to use this vehicle or not. Okay, like I said, we're going to be using this for the example. So um, I'll go back here. You see it is on the list here. Once we've picked out a vehicle, we're going to go back to our GTA save editor. We're going to click the drop down here and we're going to find this vehicle right here, the Felon GT. All right, now we can get into the mods. First off, it's going to be the colors, okay? If you want secret gold, you can select it right here from these drop-down tabs. It's called MP100 Gold Spec Hidden. If you don't want secret gold, you want to use one of these other colors, try to find a color that's not listed in-game, okay? Because if you pick a, a color here like, you know, like this olive drab or uh, the nautical blue here, I know those are in-game color so when you get in-game that'll be a scratched color it'll be selected so be careful if you're using this drop down bar I don't use this unless I'm doing secret gold I'll show you what I do here to get my modded colors um, but like I said if you select a color here that's selectable in-game it'll be a scratch color so if you're gonna use this try to find one that's not selected but this is where I make my colors okay I click this little tick next to custom color and then I'm gonna select primary and secondary. This this alert just says that these colors don't work in single player, that's fine. We're taking these cars online, so that doesn't apply to us. We'll just select never show again right here. Once we've done that, we're gonna select primary and secondary. This is gonna make a one solid color car, okay? But it is gonna be an unscratched car. If you wanna make two tones, you'll have to use the other drop downs and try to find a non-selectable paint. Now, right here, we're just going to select more colors. We're going to select custom. We're going to get an RGB slider. Now we can make our modded color right here. There's a very slim chance that you'll pick a color that is selectable in game. So if you pick a color here, uh, I would say you're going to be 90% sure that this color is not going to be selected in game. It'll be an unscratched color. If you want to know for certain, you can Google the color code there and see if it's a modded color or if it's a selectable color. Now, once you've picked a color here, you can use the slider on the right hand side as well to change like the uh, lightness or the darkness of the color. Um, so I'm just going to select a color here. Press OK once you've picked your color. Alright, so now we have our modded color on our vehicle. Now we're going to scroll right down through the upgrades. If you'll check this little, um, if you'll tick this little check mark right here, this will max all of your upgrades automatically. So all the performance upgrades, we'll just select yes. This will max out all the performance upgrades. Now from, from there on out, we're going to change a few more things, okay? Because like right here with the horn, we can get a hidden horn. Now not all of these horns will stick when you save the car. Um, I know the Halloween horn, I'm pretty sure the clown horn, and there's a few others there. Uh, if you want to Google that, I wasn't too successful on finding that on Google, but you can Google that if you want to. I'd recommend using the Halloween horn or the clown horn. I'm almost certain both of those will save but you can play around with that there's a, a lot of hidden horns there to mess with now moving right along right here you can select the lights from the arena workshop so you don't have to pay for them once you get in the game you can select any color lights that you want here so just select whatever color lights you want right here okay I'm using the mint green I think and then moving right along the plates. This is how we make the Yankton plates. I'm going to show you how to put your custom plate on there as well. So select North Yankton. And then right here at the top, this is what your plate is going to say. The hashtags won't show up, but those are necessary for the plate to work. If you don't put the hashtags and you just put, you know, K2 is it, then it's not going to show up in game. If you did it like this right here, that wouldn't show up. It'd just be a regular number plate. So you have to have the hashtag at the beginning and the end of whatever you're wanting to write. 
and then that middle part will show up. So that plate would just say K2IsIt, right? The hashtags wouldn't show up, but you do need them to make the plate show in game. Now, if you wanted to make a Blankton or a Blank Yankton plate, you just fill this up with hashtags, the whole thing. Just fill it out with hashtags. That would make your Blankton right there. Now, I'm not going to do that. I want just my K2IsIt name on there. So I'm going to put hashtag, and then I'm going to put K2IsIt and another hashtag all right so whatever you have between the two hashtags that's what your plate's going to say now moving right down the list um down here is where you get your green tints for your windows if you drop it down you see light green that's the green tint all these others are just selectable game tints so select light green here that'll give you your green tint on your windows and then moving right along we have the neon layout the neon colors don't stick don't you know spend too much time you can go here and pick a custom color it's not going to stick in game um so just select any color you want uh it probably won't transfer to game anyways i usually nor i usually use the standard colors down here at the bottom uh, so just select one of these like i said a lot of times they won't stick so you have to do that when you get in the game um we'll do front back and sides now onto the wheels the Benny's wheels do not show up in the preview window for some reason. If you're wondering what these Benny wheels look like, then what I normally do is I'll go and I'll start a tab up here and I'll just Google um, GTA Benny's wheel list. And you see I've already searched for it before right here. So I'll just select that. Um, and I believe it's the first one right here. We'll show you the list of wheels uh, with the picture. Yeah, right here. So you see this is what the wheels look like. So if you want to find... A certain Benny's wheel you can come and scroll through here find the picture of the wheel you like then look at the name next to it and then we'll go back to save editor with that name and that's the wheel we'll use so you see right here I scroll down to the rod me up solid color these are the ones I want to use so you see what they look like right here now all we have to do is go back over here to the save editor and then we'll select right here the Benny's wheels that we just looked at, the Rod Me Up solid color. That's the ones we're going to use, okay? Now, if you select F1 wheels, you can see that they'll show up in the preview tab here, okay? Um, if you select a style, you see it shows up in the preview tab. So these are a little bit easier to see as we can just look at it right here. We don't have to Google anything for the F1 wheels. Um, you can change the tire design as well. You got all the tire designs for the F1 wheels. Um, you same thing for the Benny's wheels. Uh, you have tire designs for the Benny's wheels as well. Um, so I was just looking for the the wheel I was using here. Um, I got a little bit lost there. I think it was a Benny's spoke original. Yeah. Um, uh, the rod me up solid color was the one I was using and then you'll see right here the tire designs the classic white wall I believe is the donut or sorry the retro white walls are the donut wheels the classic white walls are the medium white lines the white lines are the skinny skinnier white line ones okay so you can select any of those there um, down here we have our wheel color okay we can use secret gold just like we can on the paints if we want to or we can select a different color now if you select a color that says rim beside it that will be a scratch color try to find one that says um you know worn other or uh something besides a rim color or a matte i wouldn't select the matte or metallic some of those may not transfer as unscratched colors so just be kind of leery of what you're selecting here um i would recommend using like i said one of the worn colors or the um the util colors, uh, those those will work as unscratched colors. And I forget which one I used here. I think I used the black util or either the black worn. Um, I can't remember which one I selected here. Yeah, I think it was the util um, is the one I selected. I may have done the black worn. No, I did the black util there. Okay, yep. So And I know for a fact that that one showed up as an unscratched color. So like I said, use those. For your wheels you can also put your patriot tire smoke here your bulletproof tires and then go ahead and like i said fill out all that for the car everything you want all the mods for the car now i'm going to show you something else that wasn't available for the felon gt but you'll see right here i selected a different vehicle i used the cavalcade 
and you can see behind me here it is on the list so you can use this vehicle as well but you see this over here the little wrench icon this gives us the um customizations for the outside of the car like the aesthetic customizations the bumpers um the exhaust stuff like that so if your car has that little wrench icon beside the stock vehicle preview bar then you'll be able to come in here and you can select even the um like i said the aesthetic upgrades for the car as well before you take it into game now the felon gt didn't have those upgrades available on it that's why that wrench icon didn't show up there but if you do have that icon then you can select those so once you've finished customizing that vehicle you're going to repeat that same step for every vehicle in every garage so you should have a total of 12 vehicles that you've made okay should have four for franklin four for michael and four for trevor now once you've made all of those vehicles you're going to go up here to the top left and you're going to select save file you're going to select okay it's just saying it was saved successfully so select okay now we can minimize out of this and we can drop this down as well our browser this is when we're going to open up save wizard okay we're going to now we're going to take that modded save that we have on our pc and we're going to overwrite our ps4 save that's on our usb flash drive so once we open this just select okay now we're going to double click the little play button next to our gta account and then we're going to right click our game save here and we're going to select advanced mode excuse me now this is going to take just a second to load up here once this is fully loaded, it's going to show the save to us in code form. All right, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be kind of weird. Don't worry, you don't have to mess with none of that. I'm going to show you the next steps here. are going to be pretty simple in order to overwrite that save. So once this pulls up, it'll look something like this. Don't do anything there. Go over to the top right, select import file. Now this is where we're going to select that modded save that we just put all of our cars on. It's this one right here, the one you downloaded. All right, we're going to select it. And then we're going to click open. Now nothing's going to happen. What we're going to do is go onto our keyboard and press zero. It's going to bring up this alert. Okay. Once we get this alert, we're going to select continue. Then we're going to select apply. And then we're going to select yes. Now what's going to happen is it's going to take that modded save with the cars that we just saved onto there. And it's going to overwrite the PS4 save that we have on our USB flash drive. So we'll just give this a second to do its thing. Now once it's done, it'll say successfully applied. We're gonna select <coughs> okay. Now at this point, we're free to eject our USB flash drive from our PC. So we'll go up here, select eject USB flash drive. Now at this point, we can take our flash drive and insert it back into our PS4. Now once we're back on our PS4, we're gonna select application save data management. And this time we're going to select saved data on USB storage device. Then we're going to select copy to system storage. And it's going to bring up this screen where we're going to select the modded save that we just overwrote right here. Okay, this is the save that we brought from the computer. We're going to select this and then select copy. That'll bring it over to your PS4. Now at this point I'm going to show you how to use NetCut. We're going to be using this a little later. And when you open up NetCut, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have a list of all the devices connected to your wireless network at the time. Now, you want to be connected via Wi-Fi with your PS4, not a LAN cable, because that won't allow us to lag the Internet. So once you find your PS4 down here, if it's named something special, you'll see the name here. Mine just says PS4. All right, this is what it's going to look like. Now, when I tell you to lag your Internet, you're going to click this little uh, Wi-Fi symbol next to it, and you see it brings it up here. It says it's red. That means it's off. All you have to do is reselect it to turn it back on. So later, when I tell you, okay, this is where we're lagging our internet, you're going to come down here, you're going to find your PS4, you're going to click the little Wi-Fi symbol, that's going to disconnect your internet. You'll leave it disconnected until I tell you to reconnect it, then you'll scroll up here, you'll select it again, that'll reconnect your internet. So that's how the NetCut program works. So now we've got all that set up, what we're going to do is we're going to start GTA Online and we're going to hold L1, R1, L2, and R2 through this whole cutscene until we get the um, brightness calibration screen. So just hold L1, R1, L2, and R2 this whole time. And you're going to do this every time you load in. If you mess the glitch up and you load back in, hold these buttons when you load back in again every time because this is going to clear out the catch from the last time we tried the glitch. So you'll do this every time you load in. 
and then you'll get this screen just accept the calibration and then we're going to load into story mode now once we're in story mode here don't answer this call we're just going to pause our game we're going to go over and turn auto save off so go over here to saving and startup make sure this is turned off all right this will mess us up now once we have that turned off we're going to go over to game and load game and we're going to delete any other saves we have besides the modded save that we just made so this is the one i just made i'm going to keep this one delete any other ones that you have though here you don't want any other saves on here that'll mess you up now once you've got that we're just going to go online and we're going to start an invite only session so accept the alert we'll load in online as soon as we're online we're going to set our spawn location to our bunker a ceo officer or 10 car garage so you'll see me do that right here i'm going to set my spawn to my bunker now i've seen people make this work using a 10 car garage and the ceo office i've never been able to get it to work with those i use my bunker every time so if you have a bunker i recommend using the bunker now once you have that set you're just going to go up and change outfit this is going to force a save so that our spawn location is saved you'll see in the bottom right we get the little saving circle there all right we're good at this point now all we have to do from here is select the sp character and exit to sp so i'm going to select franklin i'm going to accept the alert now you should spawn in like this as trevor all right once you spawn in you're just going to pause and we're going to start up creator mode so we'll go to online creator and we're going to accept the alert now once we're in creator mode if you don't have a capture already made go ahead and make one if you have one made we're just going to load it up it doesn't have to be published it can just be saved so you'll see right here i have mine i named it dm glitch because that's all i use it for so once you have that capture you're just going to start that capture up and we're going to test team one so we're going to scroll down to test and we're going to test team one okay now once we get here we're going to go ahead and set up our double tap so double tap your playstation button and hover over connect to internet double tap your ps button to come back to the game so that we can have that ready to disconnect now once we're here we're going to select the sb character by hitting down twice and holding down on the d-pad the second time and that's going to bring up this circle we're going to select franklin now, once we get this alert, as soon as we accept this alert, we're gonna double tap our PS button. We're gonna disconnect our internet. We're gonna double tap our PS button to come back to the game. We should get this alert. Now, once we get the alert, we'll accept it. Double tap again, go back, reconnect your internet. Double tap again to come back to the game. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna load back in to single player as Trevor again. Now, if this happens to you and you have the cops, you have to lose the cops before you can answer the phone. Don't answer the phone yet. You have to lose the cops first and exit the vehicle before you answer the phone. So right here, I just skip ahead. It took me forever to lose the cops. So I skip ahead right here. You see right here, my wanted level goes away. Now exit the vehicle and you're gonna answer the phone and then pause your game. Once you pause it, you're gonna scroll over to Rockstar Editor and you're gonna select it. It's going to bring up a menu mine took us a minute to load here it was being kind of slow um as soon as it loads you're just going to select director mode all right we're going to go into director mode accept the alert now once we're in director mode we're going to select actors we're going to select story characters and we're going to hover over franklin then we're going to press circle twice to back up and we're going to go down and select enter dm mode yeah, now once we load in to director mode we're going to get a call we're just going to decline this call franklin what's happening left now, once we decline this call, we're going to pause and we're going to set a waypoint down by the movie theater. We're going to scroll down here, right here at the movie theater. We're going to set a waypoint. We're going to unpause. We're going to hold down our touchpad to open up our interactions menu. We're going to press down once. We're going to press left once. And then we're going to press X. That's going to select that waypoint and it's going to fast travels here. Once we're here, we're going to change the time of day. The way we're going to do that is hold down our touchpad. We're going to press up we're going to press x we're going to get this alert we're going to decline that alert then we're going to press x again and we're going to scroll over to midday and press square to apply those settings then we're going to press circle twice to back out of that menu all we're doing is changing the time to midday there okay we're going to enter the theater here so we're going to press right on the d-pad once we get in here we're going to open up our interaction menu again we're going to scroll up twice and select return to casting trailer on this alert we're going to press x 
And then once we get this black screen here, we're going to double tap and we're going to go out and start up a recent activity that says start GTA online. We're going to get this alert, decline the alert and immediately pause your game. Now, right here, we're going to go ahead and set up our double tap again. So hover over, connect to the internet, double tap your PS button to come back to the game. Once you come back here, we're just going to start GTA online. So play GTA online, go accept the alert, double tap, disconnect your internet immediately. Once you disconnect, double tap to come back to the game. You should get this alert. Accept the alert. Double tap your PS button. Go back and reconnect your internet once again. Double tap your PS button to come back to the game. Alright, we should immediately load in as Trevor. Now, once we load in, all we're going to do is kill Trevor. So you'll have an RPG. You're just going to shoot it at your feet. Alright? So... We're going to kill Trevor right here. You won't get no wasted animation. It'll be just like this. Then you're going to spawn back in at the hospital. Now, we're just going to wait right here at the hospital until we get the cutscene, okay? So I fast forwarded this part a bit so you didn't have to wait so long. But you're just going to chill right here until you get the cutscene. As soon as you see the screen start to go black here, we're going to spam X. So right here starts to go black spam X right here spam X spam X until you exit the cutscene then immediately pause your game go over to online start up creator mode accept the alert you'll get pulled up into the clouds and then you're gonna immediately get pulled back down to Franklin all right he's gonna be at the construction yard here Now you're going to get pulled down, you're going to see Franklin, and you're going to get pulled back up. As soon as you see the menu, double tap and disconnect your internet. Double tap to come back to the game. You should get this alert. Accept this alert. Don't fuck it up. Exit to GTA when Michael says up. Go up as soon as you get the black screen. Double tap and reconnect your internet. And then you're going to go over and find a recent activity that says start GTA online. Once you select that, it's going to give you an alert on this alert. You're going to press square to retry, and then this is going to happen. You're going to load into the clouds for a few minutes, and then eventually here, you'll get the wasted sound in the clouds like this. As soon as you hear that, you're going to load back in. If you don't see the loading circle in the bottom right-hand corner, you have to start over, okay? This step here is kind of hit or miss. If you see that loading circle, you're good to go. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to see your character here. This is where you're going to lag your Wi-Fi as soon as you see your character, all right? Now, leave your, leave your Wi-Fi off until the color comes back to your screen. You'll see the color come back. You'll see the little yellow bar by your mini-map from single player. At this point, reconnect your internet, and then you're going to press X to retry the mission. Now, at this point, you're simply going to complete the mission. All right, nothing special here. You just um, you kill the architect, take his plans, lose the cops, you drive over here to um, Lester's hideout. And then you just enter inside. And then right here at the cut screens, you can just spam X through all that stuff. It doesn't matter what you select there. You're just setting up the heist for later. So you just spam X through the cut scenes, select whatever you want to select in the heist board there until you get the mission passed here, all right? Now you're going to decline this first phone call when you walk outside. You're not worried about this one. Decline this one. And then you should get a second phone call from Jimmy, all right? That's the phone call that we're going to be worried about. That's the one we're going to answer, okay? Now, you see this is Jimmy, answer the phone, hey, and then pause your game. All right, now when we pause, we're going to go to Rockstar Editor, and then we're going to start up Director Mode. As soon as this loads in, just select Director Mode, accept the alert. Now, once we're here at the trailer, this is where we're going to bring our online character in, okay? So we're going to select actors, we're going to go down to online characters, and select whichever online character you use. I used my number one character, so I'm going to select it by pressing X. Now, what will happen here is we will load into director mode with our online character, okay? Now, once we load in 
to director mode. It's pretty simple from here. All we have to do from here is start up an invite only session. So you'll see I load in right here. All I'm gonna do is pause. I'm gonna go to online and I'm gonna start up an invite only session. It's very important that it's an invite only session. If you try to load into a public session right here, you could get stuck in the clouds. So you'll see right here, it loads in pretty quick when you go to invite only, all right? Cause we've already made a path from director mode to multiplayer. So you'll see right here, I load in at my bunker. Okay. Now at this point, once we load in, we have director mode online. Okay. You see in the top right hand corner, it says director mode and I'm online in an invite only session. So at this point, you've successfully completed this method of the director mode online. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to show you how to bring those cars that we made earlier into online. Okay. So what we want to do is make our way to a garage that we're gonna to wanna to store these vehicles at, okay? And you'll see that we have a double menu here when we pull up our menus. The way to fix this is to pause your game, unpause it with the menus up, and then you'll see it fixes the menu where we can read it, all right? That's how we're gonna be fixing that. So pause your game, set a waypoint near a garage that you're going to use because we're gonna be teleporting down to the garage. I'm using my arena, so you'll see I set a waypoint right here. Back out, pull up your interactions menu, double pause again to fix your menu. And then we're going to select waypoint on location and press X. That's going to let us teleport down here to the arena. Okay. That's going to be the best way to get around. Um, and be sure I should have already done this. Make sure you turn on invincibility. All right, go up to settings, go to invincibility, turn it on and press square to apply the settings. Make sure you always have this on. If you die during this glitch, it can mess it up. I mean, it, it, sometimes you can fix it. Sometimes you can't. So, don't mess with any of this other stuff. The flaming bullets, super jump slidey cars, that'll mess the glitch up. Don't do the make it rain emote, that'll blue screen you. Also, if you go back to creator or single player, that'll mess the glitch up. If you join on a friend invite, that'll mess the glitch up. The only way you wanna change sessions is either going to a close friend session or finding new session, all right? That's the only way you wanna change or else you'll mess the glitch up, okay? So now, with that out of the way, let's show you how to get the cars in here online, all right? What you're going to do is open up your interactions menu again, uh, double pause to fix the menu, scroll down to garage, select garage, and then you'll see a list of all the vehicles that you made. These are the vehicles you made on your PC and you brought onto your PS4 through the modded save. Okay, now what we're going to do is hover over one of these. You'll remember I used the Felon GT there. That's the one we're using for the example. Okay, so hover over it and then hold down your touchpad. Your menus will switch like this, okay? At this point, pause your game, go to online, go to find new session, all right? Now, what's gonna happen? When we accept this alert, on the third cloud rise, we're gonna hold our touchpad. You'll hear the menu switch in the background. Then you're gonna press X, you'll get a short black screen, and then you're gonna press circle twice, okay? That's how that part's gonna work. So right here, I'm gonna press X to accept the alert. Right here, I'm holding touchpad, pressing X, you get the little black screen, then you press circle twice, okay? So what happens there is in the background, we're actually switching the menus, selecting the vehicle, and then backing out of the menus, okay? Now, you can't see it, obviously, but you can hear it in the background, so it's pretty distinct, but just make sure you do that on the third cloud rise. It's very important that you do that when you rise the third time into the clouds, all right? Now, right here, just make your way back to whichever garage you were at, because that's where the car is gonna spawn, is right where you were standing when you found new session. So go here, uh, Go to your waypoint that you've set on the map there. You're going to fast travel back down there. And then you'll see once you're down here, I check again just to make sure my invincibility is still on. It's not a bad idea. You don't want anyone killing you because now you're in a public session. All right. So you'll see right here the car is spawned in. This is the car that I made on my PC. You see it has my modded paint. It has my plates. It has the Benny's wheels, the green tents. All right. It's got everything we selected. Now, all we have to do from here is store this vehicle in our garage. Um, and you're going to rinse and repeat those steps with all the cars that you want to bring online, okay? Because the way we have to save is we have to leave director mode to save. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to do one more car here um, just to show you again. Now, I stored this one in my garage. You see I got it right here. Now, we're going to rinse and repeat those last steps to bring all of our cars online before we do anything else. Now, we can't save the cars at this point. We're just bringing them all online first. Then we'll save them, okay? So right here... Um, 
I'm gonna go back outside and I'm gonna do this one more time for you guys to walk you through it again, show you how to bring the car into the session, and then I'll show you how to save them, all right? Because you're gonna wanna bring all 12 of your cars to your garage first, and then I'll show you how to save them. So you make your way back outside again, <clears throat> and we're gonna do the same thing here. Hold down our touchpad, double pause to fix our menus, select garage, hover over the car that we want, we're gonna use the Jackal this time, all right? So I'm gonna hover right here, hold down your touchpad to switch the menus. All right, you see how the menu is something different this time? That's fine, doesn't matter. As long as they switched from here, you're gonna pause your game and then find a new session. Select find new session, accept the alert. Right here, hold touchpad, press X, small black screen, press circle twice, perfect. All right. The timing isn't super tricky there, guys. Like I said, third cloud rise is when you're holding touchpad, all right? Then you're pressing X, small black screen, circle twice. So from here, I'm just making my way back down to the garage, okay? Now, once you're back down here, you'll see another car spawned in, all right? Now, all we have to do is drive this car into our garage. Now, if you use vehicles that weren't on that list that I left the link to in the description, if you use some other type of vehicles that were blacklisted or too hot to store, it's not going to let you take those vehicles inside your garage, okay? Only use the one with the three slashes beside it on that list on 7 cents. So. so, now that we're back inside here, uh, I'm just going to replace another vehicle with this one because this garage is full. So, I'm going to store it right here. All right. Now I have the cars that I want to bring from my modded save online, all right? At this point, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna exit director mode or quit director mode, sorry. Um, and I don't like to do this from inside the garage. I prefer to go outside um, because it's gonna load you outside where you were at with Michael when you enter director mode, okay? Um, so I like to be outside to do this. Um, now, once you're outside, all you wanna do is hold your interactions button or pull up your menu, sorry, and then you're just gonna quit director mode. All right, pretty simple here, just select quit director mode. Now remember, after you quit, you're not gonna bring any more cars online, so make sure you already brought all the cars you want online, and then what'll happen is after you quit, you'll spawn back in and just make your way back over to whichever garage you use to store those cars at, okay? Because now we're gonna get them to save, so once you're back at the garage where you stored your vehicles, <clears throat> you just want to move them around inside the garage. So you see right here, I'm just going to swap them around a few times, all right? There's no really set number of times. I like to do it three or four times, move them around three or four times to, you know, make sure they save. And then um, once we've done that, then we want to put insurance on these vehicles because none of these cars have insurance on them. If we take them outside and they get destroyed, we won't be able to get them back. So... Uh, press right on the D-pad to modify these vehicles or take it to the LS Customs, okay? And you just want to apply insurance to these vehicles. So you'll see right here, I'm going to put full coverage on it. So if it gets destroyed, I can get it back, all right? And then I'm going to go through here and show you that this was a modded color. You can see that nothing's selected. If you scroll through these colors and they default to the top of the list, that means no colors are selected. That's how we know we have a modded paint, all right? Um, we can also check the wheels the same way. We'll select the wheels and the wheel color and you see it defaults to the top of the list see how when i selected it defaults to the top that's how we know nothing is selected that's how we know this is, these are modded colors all right we can also check the windows here um you see there's nothing selected here but when we back out the windows are still tinted that means we got the green tints and you can see obviously i've got my yankton plates with my custom tag on it okay so that's pretty much it guys at that point once you've um, move those vehicles around and put insurance on them, they're all saved. Remember, bring all the cars that you wanted online before you exit director mode, okay? Now, I just did this part right here to show you guys. I actually closed app and restarted GTA after I destroyed that vehicle to show you guys that they did save, okay? So you can see right here I'm calling Morris Mutual and I'm requesting this vehicle and I'm also gonna call my mechanic and you can see here in my arena garage, both the Jackal and the Felon GT are both still in my garage, even after closing app and restarting, all right? Right here, see? So they're, they are saved, no worries. They will save once you've done that step of moving them around. But remember, bring all the cars you want online before you quit director mode. Once you quit director mode and get ready to save the cars, you can't bring any more online after that, so. Um, 
that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I spent all, almost all day making this, or I've spent probably about five hours making this video, maybe six hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was pretty long, but I wanted to include everything from start to finish, all right? Um, and like I said, be sure that you are in um, God mode, that you have invincibility set. You don't want to die while you're doing this glitch. Um, I recommend... Uh, when you're bringing the cars online to try to stay low key, you know, because if people destroy the cars before you get them into your garage or before you get insurance on them, then you'll lose them and you'll have to bring them back in, in again. Okay. So you don't want that to happen, but if you like the video, drop me a like it would be greatly appreciated. hope all you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe with your notifications on so you don't miss any future uploads and I will catch you guys in the next one later.